and welcome to another episode of Epic Geek Out, the only show on the internet that will take you in during the zombie apocalypse. I'm your host, Chad. I'm your host, Rob, and today we're going to be reviewing the game The War Z. As always, you can check us out over at Twitter, at Epic Geek Out. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash epicgeekout. And also check out the website, www.epicgeekout.com. But let's get into our review of The War Z. So today we're talking about The War Z. It comes from Hammerpoint Interactive. It is a an open world zombie horror survival mm. game. Labeled as an MMO, but there's not. controversy over whether yeah. or not it actually is an MMO. Lots and lots and lots of controversy around this game. It kind of has been out for a little while. Uh, they had like an open, sort of open beta if you pre-ordered mm. starting in October, but it was officially released uh, on December 16th, I believe. Um, on Steam, was actually taken off of Steam like two days or three days later because of all of the craziness surrounding this game. Um, a lot of mo misrepresentation of what the game was um, and a lot of very <laughs> awful comments made by the, the executive producer of the game. Uh, Off-color sort of bad remarks to people, calling people very offensive names on oh, the really? forums. Yeah, oh, I didn't um, even see that. Which I'm not going to repeat, but uh, oh, some crazy stuff going on. They released like an open letter, all this craziness, getting really bad reviews, lots of bad stuff, but we thought we'd check it out because <laughs> the game intrigued me a lot when I heard about it coming out. I was really kind of excited over the concept of it, um, and it was only $15, mm -hmm. so, you know, what the hell. <laughs> Let's yeah. check it out. So the basic premise of this game is you're thrown into the zombie apocalypse. It's like 2020, right? Yeah. Um, it's almost as if you were... Uh, you woke woke up like The Walking Dead and you, you don't know what's going on. You gotta sort of traverse and find uh, different mm -hmm. settlements. You're just given kind of a flashlight to start, although there is a lot of microtransactions in and this game. And a granola bar. Yes. <laughs> and you can find other things around the world. Uh, there's other people, there's zombies. And basically, there's no quests. So mm -hmm. as far as MMOs go, not really that. It's just sort of open world, really. Survive. Survive. Um, one really interesting concept is if you are killed off, you can't respawn your character for an hour. Mm -hmm. um, then they change that to four hours, and then I think back to an hour. But there's been all this like change for the game, just because people outcry at how awful mm -hmm. this is that they can do this. <laughs> I think that's actually kind of a cool idea because yeah. it puts more stakes in the game than just relogging out and coming back. But the in. players can also kill you, though, right? Right. Also a negative thing, as mm -hmm. uh, I found out, but <laughs> what did you think of uh, your time with it? Okay, so any game that starts off, first thing I see when I log into this game is the open letter that, you know, the guy wrote mm -hmm. to the fans. It, I'm like, I was just nervous at that <laughs> point, and I think nervous for the right reasons. Um, I didn't play much of this game, I, you know, it, it, I couldn't. I, I just could not sit down and play anymore. I love this concept, and um, I feel for a small developer trying to do something this large and this different, and and really, you know, because the internet can be a cruel and mean thing, and yes, to face that, you know, it, it must be hard when I'm sure they put their heart and soul into this. So, you know, I, I hate to say negative things, because, you know, I want this to succeed, and I because I, I love the concept of it. I think... It's perfect, you know. It might be a hard thing to do, but if they could generate a Left 4 Dead experience in an MMO, you know, probably not as crazy, but like something like that, I think that would be a fantastic game. I couldn't get behind these control schemes. I just was all over the place, and I really just couldn't get behind it. The map feature was awful. You have to pause the game, so you're just standing still uh, yeah, just to bring up the map. That's not good. But I did like the map. I think the map was especially, awesome. Especially when there's zombies. I mean, exactly. you, know, that, like, <laughs> you have to do this on the fly. Yeah, it's crazy. So, you know, the map was cool because it had, like, interstates, and it was realistic, and I, I like that. But, again, you're just kind of standing there and, like, uh, you know, yeah. what's going to get me? Um, I was warned about the players, um, you know, just... And I luckily Dang. wasn't shot in my, you know, time playing with it. Um, the customization in the beginning, I'm like, oh, these graphics are great. But you, you can choose from, like, four or five different, like, parts for, you know, head, middle, and legs. Yeah, not very so, extensive. So, you know, I didn't even see your character. I clicked on create a character first. Our 
characters are exactly the same. Yeah, there's only one guy you can yeah. play for free unless you purchase, mm -hmm. you unlock the other things with the microtransactions, which yeah. is you use real money to purchase points or coins, and then mm -hmm. you can unlock a lot of things, purchase weapons, and, and so on. So which forth. this game just did not get, I did not have anywhere close to the amount of interest to do that. Um, you know, it, it sets up a cool world. I, I love the idea, but, you know, this game is flawed beyond compare, and it was unplayable in my opinion, and maybe I just didn't, I mean, I didn't get to an exciting part or something like that. Maybe I didn't get enough time. So again, you know, fifteen dollars. But you know, it just there's so much controversy in this. I, I think it's yeah, you have to skip it. Yeah, it's it's definitely a broken game, unfortunately, because like you, I really love this concept. Mm -hmm. When I first booted it up, I mean, yeah, I got past the customization, whatever. You know, it's awful, but. I, I was just like, this is so cool. It felt real. Like when you're looking at the map, the distance felt so real. Mm -hmm. Like I'm like, I run forever, and then I look at the map and I only move like this tiny yeah. little bit, and I'm like, that's so crazy. But you know, it's real. It made it feel mm -hmm. big. Um, there's a lot of empty space in this game. A lot when, of empty when space. When you hear the zombies though, like get up around you, mm -hmm. it's really cool. It's frightening. It's scary. It's, a lot of it bird feels chirping. Awesome. A ton of yeah, it. there was. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of hackers in this game. It's mm -hmm. it's victim to that because it is. Um, it is less like a, a WoW or Guild Wars where they have mm -hmm. company servers. They do have a couple company servers, but they also have private servers uh, okay. um, that you can connect to. So it's, it's a little bit more, uh, it's less controlled than those types of games. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's a smaller developer, so that's to be expected. But it just, I got killed twice by player characters, <laughs> and it was just frustrating because I was still try, trying to figure out the controls, and, and I didn't even have a weapon yet. This one dude, and, and this is part of the controversy, what the uh, executive producer came out, uh, out against people about. But I was, there was like a weapon. I saw a handgun on top of a flaming uh, helicopter. I was so excited. I was <laughs> running up to get the handgun, and I get shot. Mm. Like, come on. And, yeah. and, and it's not even like... Like, I walked out of this one building, and a guy hit me over the head, and I was dead. Like, it wasn't even like I could get away if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. You know, it, one shot, you're dead. And that, I, they were going for the realistic thing, but it was I just And I understand weird. that concept, but the internet's full of mean people. Yeah. And, like, you got to give an option where, I don't even know if it has it, where there isn't PvP. Yeah, yeah, mean. exactly. Um, and, and there's really nothing to do in this game but run around. And, unfortunately, like... I got to. I finally got to um, one of the safe zones or whatever they call them, the the settlements, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I, <laughs> I go in the settlement, which was cool. It looked cool from the outside, but it was all these like buildings, and you couldn't go in a single one of them. I was oh, like, geez. what is the point of this? I mean, if I guess we get a bunch of people and you kind of hold that up, mm -hmm. sort of like a Walking Dead prison style thing, yeah. would be awesome. But it was just it was just weird, and I didn't really get the purpose of it. Um, there was a really cool feature where you could like switch from first person to third person, and I thought that was a really interesting thing for uh, an MMO type game mm -hmm. where you know at certain times I, I I found benefit in being in first person, and certain time, times it was you know third person was awesome. Um, I did get to play both during the night and the day. I think you just did the night time, or did you get to play during the day as well? Both, yeah. Both. I thought the the daytime was pretty cool. Uh, it looked, the graphics were a lot better. The nighttime, it's dark, you can't really see much. You got the flashlight, but mm. during the day, I thought the graphics were decent enough for yeah. this kind of game. But just, again, everything's kind of broken, really. And it, it had so much potential because this game in the right hands of a good developer, yeah. I'm not saying this is a bad developer, but just a sure. bigger budget game would be so awesome because it feels like a real zombie apocalypse. And, and there weren't even that many zombies, to be honest and, with you. Yeah, and when the either. community is upset and pissed, it's not going to make for a good gaming exactly, experience yeah. when it's built around a community. I mean, there was just venom being, you know, scrolled, you know, yeah. across the screen and in the really crappy little chat window. Yeah. And it's just like, I don't know. It, it didn't seem like it's really valuing the customers, which is so important in this day and age. So. Yeah, and I mean, it is a $15 game. Mm. But I, I think where people got had problems with was the misleading because they, mm -hmm. they touted a lot of features on the Steam page which turned out they're not even in the game at mm -hmm. all. Like multiple worlds and it's not. It's one thing. Yeah. And, and I think that kind of pissed a lot of people off. I mean, they changed it eventually, but you can't go out there and mislead people because people yeah. aren't stupid, you know? And I think if you're expecting something and you get something else, it's... And I'm sure there's so much more issues behind the scenes that, you know, yeah, aren't even... When there's this m many problems, like, being aired out for everyone, I, I, you can only imagine what isn't being said, so... Yeah, I mean, I hope it comes around, but I unfortunately don't think mm -hmm. it is. And I do agree, I think it's unplayable. It's mm -hmm. fun, but for maybe five, ten minutes. Okay. And then you're... <laughs> 
And then yeah. you're kind of left wondering what you should do. Mm -hmm. And when you get killed, it's frustrating and you can't respawn for an hour, so mm -hmm. you're getting killed by players. And yeah. So I would say save your $15. There's lots of fun iOS apps you can get mm -hmm. for $15. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, just, it's unfortunate because it really had potential. <laughs>so now it's time to give our thanks for some geek awesomeness that's going on rob what's your thanks today uh today i'd like to thank a trade paperback that i just uh finished reading uh actually our friend grinspan uh he lent it to me a while ago and for some reason i was like yeah let's actually read this um it's called red sun and it is the story of superman if instead of uh landing in smallville with ma and pa kent he landed in russia and um mm -hmm. kind of he still has his values, but kind of how he goes about using them. A lot like of other communist Russia. Yeah, communist cool. Russia, Stalin, whatnot. Um, really great story. Really, you know, flips the Superman lore, and um, it's, just, it's just creative across the board. You know, Wonder Woman's in it, Lex Luthor, Lois Lane, or Lois Luthor in this case. A um, yeah. lot, a lot of great things, and um, you know, a, a lot of social commentary, like great comic books have. And just was a really enjoyable read. And it's one of those things where, you know, there's not 18 volumes that you have to get. It, it was a single read, you know, read it in 40 minutes or less. And, you know, got a complete story out of it. So I would definitely recommend checking that out. You know, really, really good story. And, you know, taking a character like Superman, who I'm excited for the Man of Steel movie, but is kind of out, not outdated for our current times, but kind of seems like, the superhero that no one cares about anymore. And so it was interesting to see it taken on a different level. So That's very cool. I would definitely check that out if I were you. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to think a movie that I caught on television the other day that I love and I know you love, Galaxy Quest, ah. Tim Allen. Awesome movie. Never I, give up, never surrender. I, I don't know. Like I remember this being in the theaters. I believe mm -hmm. I saw it in the theater uh, when it was out. But I think it's like an underrated movie. I mean, it's definitely. I think people. It's fantastic. I think. Uh, it's I think a lot great. of like it has a cult following mm -hmm. a little bit. Oh, 100 percent. But not as much as like other cult movies that sure. exist. Uh, but I, I love that movie. It's mm -hmm. like the take on Star Trek, but like so it's a fictional Star Trek show basically. Yeah. Uh, the actors. Sam Rockwell in it is. Yeah. Tremendous. The actors like kind of get abducted by real aliens who use. Like all the the Who show, saw the, the their show. broadcast, yeah, and it's, thought it's that awesome. They were their I mean, saviors. if you if you don't know what this is, you have to see it. It's it's just great. It's on TBS like all the time mm -hmm. right now. So and it's one of those. It was one of those first movies I saw as you know, just being younger that twisted things that were familiar, but and kind of you know like Red Sun. You know, yeah. it gives you uh, something that you know, but presents it. In Differently, yeah. One little twist can change everything about it. So I think that's just so creative, and those are my personal favorite kind of things, you know. And I think, like, it's just funny how good it is. Like, the aliens look so dumb, but yeah. it's just so good. I don't know. It's, just, it's a great it's movie. Fun. I'm going to rewatch it now. Yeah, I it's, mean, it's, it's really it is fun. a great movie. It, it's, it's just action, mm -hmm. humor, and yeah. great Tim Allen. <laughs> so check that out. But uh, thanks for watching this week of episodes. We'll be back next week with even more for you. Um, but as always, you can check us out over our Twitter page, uh, website. Uh, make sure you subscribe to subscribe. our YouTube channel. That's uh, the best. We appreciate that. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.